What's up, everyone? This is a Destroyer229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. Last time, we made the decision to head back into the TV world, try to get a little bit more experience, and definitely get a lot more money. In this episode, we have made it to the end of Kanji's dungeon yet again, but we have yet to face off against the boss. So that's going to be our first priority. We are going to be taking down the boss here, and then afterwards we're going to focus on, at the very least, getting our level up to 27. If we can do that, then we can make another persona, and I at least feel a little bit confident in filling out more of the compendium. A um, little bit of a problem in terms of buying back personas, but it's also partially the reason why I want to just keep on trying to face off against gold hands. I also have only gotten two of my five quest items. So that's also going to need a change. Also, I think we need a change in costumes yet again, so excuse me. There we go. Bit of a change. A few similar costumes, but on other people. Uh, Chie has the gag outfit because Yukiko would make her totally wear that. <laughs> but let's see if we can't try to beat this boss. One enemy, you can do it. So, our optional boss is the intolerant officer. It's not strong at all. I'm sure you can win. The intolerant officer is weak to electricity, resists almighty, and nulls light and dark, and knows the skills single shot, poison arrow, bufula, and garula. The main difference between the Intolerant Officer and Golden compared to the original is that he loses a vulnerability. I forget to which element. I want to say fire, but I'm not 100% sure because I didn't write what that vulnerability was. Um, so he loses a little bit of what kind of makes it a little bit easier, but still is otherwise functionally the same. I also found out that he loves the target Yuki Kao, so that's fun. And now I've got Kanji, which is also fun. <laughs> uh, oh, I wanted to start off with Narcissus, so I had all that stuff. I, I thought I already had him auto-equipped. Well, crap, okay. Um, let's see. Honestly, either Ipondata or Amino Uzume would be fun fine here, as long as I don't have a persona that's weak to ice or wind. Uh, which neither of them are. In fact, I'm gonna Uzume just nulls wind, so if he decides to do something stupid, then that will work. So, we'll just have Amino Uzume just what be what left. we have, and just focus on Zeongas. Persona. It's down! We can smash them all! Let's do it! Huh? Now the big problem is that because it resists Almighty, <laughs> then all out attacks aren't going to be super great. So we're just going to have to knock it down and then do a lot of damage. Here goes Persona! Play down and die already. Okay. Um. Chie, what should I do with Chie? Taru Kanja? I think a Taru Kanja on herself would probably work best. I guess I could also, if I really wanted to, use Rampage on myself. And I'm gonna have Yukiko guard. Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! Yeah, I figured. This guy uh, is. This is bad. Oh no! That dealt a lot more damage than I was expecting him to do. Persona. It's down. All right, we're not doing it. Oh. Okay, will this game really be problematic? Revival bead. 
Um, oh no. <laughs> well, at the very least, I have Chie. I probably should have switched in Yosuke, but Yosuke probably would have been one-shotted. Oh, I swear to God, if you're just gonna use Gola on Kanji. Oh, he is. Yikes, he is strong. A lot stronger than I thought he would be. Okay, um... Well, maybe... Honestly, I don't think it's necessarily the worst thing in the world if Kanji is just downed. That way, at least everyone else can get more experience and catch up. Um... So yeah, my main thing is to just knock it down using Zionga. Couldn't quite beat it. Unfortunately, Yukiko really can't do anything because he's just gonna one-shot Yukiko. Hurry and beat it! in danger! Okay, um. Let's go ahead and use Zionga. You hit its weakness! That way we can at least have some more attacks in. Uh do I have any personas that have, uh, let's see, Narcissus, no, he doesn't have Diorama, unfortunately. I don't think I have any personas that have Diorama. Kirmakala could potentially kind of help out a lot. Um, How many beads do I have? Or, yeah, beads. I have six beads, so that might not be a bad thing. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Use the items if I got them. Uh, and then Chie can use another Tarukaja on herself. And then continue to guard with Yukiko. This guy just loves the target weaknesses. Okay, okay, I can live with that. I can 100% live with that. It's down. We have. Never mind. Okay, then. let's switch on over to Ipon Datara then, because Yukiko can kind of take a few of those. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I should probably try to heal up Yukiko. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's kind of the weird thing, is that even though he does have those physical attacks, he tends to not use them that often. Instead, just opting to just constantly try to target Yukiko. Like, if anyone can target a weakness, if he could potentially try to target a weakness, he'll often try to do just that. Quite beat it. And that's why I can't have Yukiko heal. It got back up. Hurry and beat it. Yuki yeah, because he will just do that. I am starting to run a little bit low on SP. Never mind that. But we are doing pretty well. I think Yukiko can take another attack at the very least. So I'll just have, once again, Chie use Tarukaja. And Yukiko can guard. Uh, it got back up! Hurry and beat it! Uh, I'm really hoping that he just eventually <laughs> just freaking you attacks Chie. Because that's a problem. It is very much a problem if he does not target Chie. And you can go still in kill range. Okay. I'm gonna have to use up one of Chie's turns, but a life stone should be enough. Thank you. That way I don't need to use up a whole bead. It got back up. Hurry and beat it. See what I mean by he constantly like loves the target Yugiko? <laughs> You precisely what I'm was talking about. He loves targeting Yukiko for some unknown reason. Uh, 
Okay, Chie can use another Rampage. I do, I'm waiting for him to be able to hit Chie with a Bufula, preferably. Yeah, I'm gonna need to just use a bead. Okay, um... And I'm also really running low on SP. You hit its weakness. Never okay. Mind, uh, I've still got plenty of beads though, so we'll go ahead and use that on Yuki Kao. God, it feels like Tarukaja lasts like one turn less than it really should. Whatever, just use Rampage. I think I'm better off just using Rampage. The extra attack is nice, but using that. Oh, now he decides to freaking target Chie. Cool. Thanks, game. You hit its weakness. All right, it's up to you, Chief. I am also running very low on all of my other crap. Lifestone. Not worth it to use the Medea, admittedly. The only Chie would get that benefit. Oh, only one. Thank you, Chie! Good. Dodge. Um. So yeah, I can go ahead. Use the Onga. You hit its weakness. And then switch on back to Ibondatara. So I can hit him with a rampage. Hitting him with rampages is how I'm going to be able to do this, and Chie is very uh, very close to kill range again. Okay, she is very much in kill range. Switch on back to Amina Uzume. Um, he is looking winded. We're at least at a quarter health now. Knock him down. Never mind then. And then another bead. I don't think a life stone would be enough for Chie. I need the multi hits though. Okay, two hits I think is fine. Two hits would be perfect. It got back up. Hurry and beat it. Honestly, I think he's specifically really looking at his patterns. I want to say that he either targets weaknesses or he specifically goes after whoever has the lowest amount of HP. Which would make sense why it's seemingly always Yukiko. Because it usually would be Yukiko. Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. It got back up. Hurry and beat it. We're gonna target Yukiko. Um, I switch to Amino Uzume. I'm not sure if I have enough for. I have. I do have enough for a Medea. I. The screen's a little bit cut off. I don't know how much SP I totally have. I have 12. Okay, so I don't have enough for a Zionga and a Medea. Cool. Um, we'll just use a Medea. I'm not gonna get a knockdown out of it. But I think with a Rampage from Chie and then a Zionga plus Rampage. The enemy's down. Or that will work. Is this our chance? Yeah. Well. Mm. No. Sure. I, mean, that's fine, but... I think another rampage will do more damage. Couldn't quite beat okay, about a hundred. So he Come should target on, Yukiko still. Hurry and beat it. Hurt. Or that could happen. Oh. Hey. Oh, he has like a sliver of health. 
but hey, Yukiko. Persona. Victory. Okay, I probably could have revived Chie. It also isn't that much experience. But at least Yukiko levels up. Okay, so out of curiosity's sake, at least Chie and Yukiko. Yukiko at least caught up to Chie, at least. She's a little bit behind in terms of experience. About 350 ish. So overall, not too bad. And yeah, Kanji's still way. <laughs> Ooh, way higher level compared to us. Iron plate, which would be very nice. And then, oh boy, I very much need a lot of assistance. Okay, I am tapped. Okay. So, the, now the bigger question that I have, I'm gonna use a go home, I'm gonna save. Okay, so, ultimately we have succeeded in beating the boss. Now our big concern is finishing off our quests and then once we're done with that, then we can focus on getting the levels that we need. So I'm gonna save. And admittedly, while I do have a few things I want to talk about, this is mostly just trying to wrap up the TV world and then getting back to the normal day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, in the meantime... I think what would be good... Yeah, we're mostly just gonna stick with the SP stuff, so we'll go ahead and use a cough drop on us. And grab a few taps? That should be good. For now, at least. Thankfully, the gold hands don't really require a whole lot of SP. Except for Yukiko. Which may be a little bit of a problem. Um, but, at the very least, main priority number one is getting the quest items. So, when we encounter the enemies that we need, I will show it to you guys. But until then, if anything interesting happens, I'll show it, and if not, I'll meet you guys when the pre-designated finding the right enemies happens. Okay. <laughs> Was not expecting rare hands out of a chest, but I'll take it, I guess. Alright, well, it was only one gold hand that I managed to kill, but it was still enough for a level up. Another level! Gotta keep at it! Hey, Kanji leveled up. Eh. All right. <laughs> Not often where that happens, but it does sometimes happen. Kind of hard not to accept an emperor whenever it shows up. Now I have Auto Dagukaja. Thankfully, Ray Pacha is really bad. And last is Trafiri. Eh, not really all that great. Two more enemies. You gotta hang tight. Hey, finally. I was wondering when these would show up. It's a weak opponent! Okay, finally. Got what I needed. At least for this dungeon. Apparently the last two items are back in Yukiko's castle. Two enemies. So that's gonna be fun. And by that I mean it's just gonna be annoying at how little experience I'm gonna get. Uh-oh. Okay, well, in that case... Now I have tried fire on you. What do you do with darkness? It's over. 
Weave to Darkness. All right, as long as I get something where it's not lose items. Oh, hey, Jack Frost. Uh, as much as I'd love to pick a Jack Frost, I feel like I kind of want to buy back a magician. And there's our Crooked Cross. And conveniently enough, GA leveled up. Okay, let's grab this. I'm really expecting to get into a battle. And let's go ahead and use a go home. I do know that that would put us back at floor 7 in terms of going back to the dungeon, but I really don't care about going back up. Also, you can see just how much SP I've gotten just from getting a ton of cups. So that's nice. Anyway, uh, still quite a bit of ways from hitting level 27. So we'll at the very least get the items that we need here in Yukiko's castle. Um, they're around, I think, I did look up where exactly they were. It did say around floors six and up and four and up. So we'll see if we can find, we should at least find the first one somewhere here on either, well, maybe it'll be this. And in fact, was not one of the enemies I needed to fight. Ah, oh, well, whatever, like I said. We'll just, I'll show off what the enemies are. Yeah, I know it's the same as what it was in the original game, but I'll still show them off. I guess that's probably the closest that we'll see from Kanji's alternate win pose? At least in the butler outfit. I'm just gonna grab money. Experience is gonna not mean anything here, so. Hey, it's there we go. Enemies. Trans twins. It's... Those are the things that I need. Two. Please allow me. Here goes. Okay, you so this go. ended up. Well, I mean, anything here in Yukiko's oh. Castle is going to be super easy to take out. So, not really all that surprising. It's a little bit surprising, but I haven't even run into any gold hands yet. I don't think I've really spent too long here, all things considered. And there we are, our suspicious poles. Amina um, Uzume gets another level up. And she gets Tara Fury. Ooh, which is honestly not really all that great. And now to get to the fourth floor. After Yukiko gets her level up. I couldn't do it. Just <laughs> his own carelessness led to his downfall. Of course we're gonna take that money up. Maybe in Yukiko's castle, but it's still quite a bit, and it still gets us Magatsu's androids. They're also really nice. Would be much better to face them off in Kanji's dungeon. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, especially when I have to go through here anyway. I've proven my manhood. Alright, and that's the full look of that. <laughs> On some gold hands, no less. Hey, Ibon Dakura leveled up. Neat, more strength and endurance. And there's our enemies, the laughing tables. These are the guys that I needed to face off against. Two enemies, charge them up. we can use Narcissus to take them out too. Two enemies down. Let's And pretty easy. Weird that I wasn't able. I'm thinking maybe these quests were available earlier, but maybe came out at a later point than when I went into the dungeon. It seems weird that I wouldn't have gotten them prior to Kanji's dungeon. Ah, crap. Well, anyway, at this point we have all of our quest items. So, I'm gonna head back to Kanji's dungeon, and I'm gonna try to farm off any sort of enemies, and especially gold hands, until we hit level 27. I'll meet you guys whenever any personas get a level up. No, hey! I gotta keep up my 
Well, that was a little mildly disappointing because I only killed one out of three. But that is as many levels that we really need. And I'm just checking to see if there's any easily accessible chests. Yeah, perfect. I do not trust my luck. Okay, good, a diamond shield. Whoo, okay, I thought that that would be another fight. And co coincidentally enough, we're at floor 11. So it works out in the end. Okay, so honestly, we're doing pretty well. We're back to about where we were before starting all this. And of course, there's still all the stuff that we still need to sell as well. First things first, save. Took me a little less than an hour to try to get everything that I need. Let's go ahead and register Amino Uzume. Ipan Tatara. Narcissus. Okay. So, do we have... Okay, we do have Sati. Uh, I did manage to grab a few Personas. I got Titan, and I also got, I believe it was Saki Mitama. Uh, but at the very least, we can make Take Minakata now. So, pretty decent in terms of the magic department, and he has quite a bit that he can gain, too. So, we are fusing away Amino Uzume, Narcissus, and Oberon to fuse Take Minakata. Okay, so, Bufu's gonna be nice. Um, Invigorate 1 is a must. Oh, I could have all the auto skills. Hmm. Auto Sukukasha would be nice when it comes to facing off against any sort of gold hands. I think Auto Sukukasha and Auto Tarukasha. Yeah, I think all of those would be perfect. I thought for a second that there was a fusion accident, and then I realized, wait a minute, no, it still allows you to skip it. <laughs> Too used to newer Persona games. They hit the A button and nothing happened. Anyway, some level ups. We get Survive Light. The only real bad thing we talk about Minakata is the weakness to light and dark. But resistance to physical is honestly really good. He gets out of Renaku Kaja anyway! So that was probably the best thing I could have done. He just needs one more level for that. Neat. For curiosity's sake. Um, okay, so we do still have the ability to make Sati. And it looks like that's it. Um, so we do have a few things that we could potentially use. And there is also... I should probably just get rid of Sake Mina... Sake... Sake... Sake Minakata. Sake Minakata. I could probably get rid of Sake Mitama. Just because it's not really all that great, and I can't really fuse it to anything decent that I couldn't already get. Plus, I already have Sarasvati for a Priestess anyway. I was even considering just getting rid of the Sarasvati and buying back my old one as well. <laughs> Uh, but I can definitely get rid of Sake... Sake... Sake Mitama. Um... I did need a strength, though. So having Titan helps out a bit, and I have room for three additional Personas. So I think that's fine. I can use the opportunity after I sell everything in order to... see how much money I have as well as look as what arcanas that I still need and buy decent personas for around the level that we should probably be at for Risei's dungeon. Don't want to go too nuts just because costs, um, but we'll deal with that once we head back to the real world. And since we've really just been doing a ton of jump cuts, uh, I'd say we're good to actually continue on with the episode. 
So let's head on back home then. Ah, you're back. Hi, Dojima. Hi, Dachi. Hi there. You want some meal too? Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. But eel was a great choice. Nanako-chan loved it at least. I'd say she's eely proud of her daddy. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It is an eel after all. Vidachi, stop while you're behind. Just eat your dinner. E yes, sir. Nanako-chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. Hmm... Honestly, I really should tell Dojima. Yosuke seems super serious about this stupid motorcycle. And honestly, it might not be a bad idea anyway, just so that way, you know, expand our own horizons. Even if he's maybe doing it for the wrong reason. I can't help but think that this couldn't come in handy. But again, we really need to tell Dojima! What's the matter? Uh, can I go get a motorcycle? A motorcycle? You mean a scooter? Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoil sport. It's no surprise he wants one out here. I understand how you feel since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Uh, yeah, my feet can get awfully sore before I get home. Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. me hmm all right we'll be there soon looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze Adachi you were the one in charge of that file right file oh did that suspicious guy show up again would you keep your mouth shut we're going back get in the car back you mean to the station but I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. <laughs> About this license, did you decide on this yourself? No one talked you into it? It's just me. I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two-wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? I understand that they can be dangerous, but I'll be careful. I promise. I'm sure I can trust you to do that. But allowing you to get one is another thing. Hmm. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. Ah, oh, you got it. Take care. Oh! 
Is that Yosuke? Yeah, great timing. Yo, it's me. Hey, Yosuke. How did it go with your uncle? I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. It actually went really well. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. Now? I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Okay. Oh, wow. Yosuke does not waste any time whatsoever. He is really desperate, isn't he? Well, in for a penny, in for a pound. I guess... Oh, shoot. Did he say that was tomorrow? Ugh. How am I gonna study for that one night? Uh, I kind of wonder what Adachi was talking about. A suspicious guy? <sighs> Whatever. 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 I'm tired. I want to go to bed. But damn it, <laughs> we really do need to study for this. Ah, oh, crap. Well, hopefully it's not too hard. Oh, morning, Yosuke. You seem beat. I think I got any much better on the sleep department. But I honestly remember a lot more than I was expecting to. I think we'll do fine. Please stop calling it that. Okay, then. Well, can't exactly stay here. Much as I want to turn in quests, we have other obligations. We should not keep Yosuke waiting. <laughs> if I could pass midterms with ease, this is nothing. Hooray! And now we have a scooter license. <laughs> we passed on the first try, just like we planned. I am honestly surprised that went as well as it did. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. Same. Hi. Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Get our licenses. Already. Uh huh. Check it out. I know it's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Oh well. Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. So then, you're okay with all this, right? I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Thank you, Dojima. Your enthusiasm is catching. Yes! You got the okay! I need to head home and read through the catalog. Well, see you tomorrow. 
All right, later, Yosuke. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, Adachi. I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. This is my scooter. I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. Uh, for real? I'm letting you have it. Uh, uh, Jima, I... I don't know what to say. This is a really nice bike. Thank you. You can tell? The local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? <laughs> Your secret's safe with me. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. You always yell at me. Still... I wish we had a sleek means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? Looks like he knows the back streets too, so a car won't be. Will you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Well, Anyway, I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? I won't. <laughs> Seems like Dojima was a little troublemaker back in the day. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Promise. Good. I'll hold you to that. And now we have ourselves a scooter. Specifically, Dojima Scooter. So, the scooter is actually a very, very important thing that we are going to want to spend a bit of time on. So, during our daytime, we can choose to go ahead and ride the scooter. And it will increase, I want to say, diligence? Um as we ride it around town and get a feel around the general area. As we take the scooter out more, we will be able to access areas that were not accessible in the original Persona 4, at least that were accessible via the world map. So we can take this out and we can eventually get to brand new places. So it's honestly a really nice thing that we can go ahead and do while we have certain days to, you know, potentially work on it. Now we could just try to go and work on that immediately. Um, ideally we'd want to wait until... Actually I should probably talk to I. What? Okay, so now we've gotten that d taken care of with I, and then there's oh, also hi. Naoki.
No, of course not. Just wanted to, s to talk. Okay, so that at least gets some work done with Naoki, uh, in terms of starting his social link. Uh, we have lots of options today, don't we? Uh, but we should really turn in these quests first. So first off, Miss Sofue. Pulsating stones. Very nice to have. I do want to have a quite a few extra items on hand when tackling uh, Rise's dungeon. Blah 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 blah. There we go. So yeah, just getting done with all these quests I think would be really nice to try to get done with. Get three ointments. All right. So next up is the practice building. Um. What if I need to talk to Kanji to start a social? I don't think I need to talk to him. I might. That might also just trigger it. <laughs> Dead! Oh, we get some royal jellies. And now we have the next part of her quest. Great, she's gonna be behind. about. <laughs> I love how it's like, well, he already got glue on it. I just gave it to you. <laughs> something that might help. Alright, now we have part two, so we gotta go back to Kanji's dungeon for that. Uh, okay, I think the only ones... Yeah, I think the only ones left are in town. So, let's first head on over to... Let's head on over to the floodplain first. Talk to the old lady who wants her keys. Blah, 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 blah. Here you are. Oh. Wow. Okay.
It's honestly kind of interesting because, aside from Naoto, I don't think, aside from the just confession line, that there's any sort of, like, flags for romances? Interestingly enough, Relo does have flags for this sort of thing. Which is very interesting. Oh, hey! Uh, well, before that... Koro is the name of the dog. Not enough. Not enough to actually get anything done with it, though. There is feeding the cat, though. Give it an Amber Seema. Alright, and at least with the Feed the Cat, I don't know if this was the case in the original, or if this was just a Golden thing, but I do know that at least in Golden, uh, the higher the quality the fish is, the more quote-unquote points it contributes to the cat. So higher quality fish will mean that you'll need to give less fish in total to the cat in order to actually finish the Feed the Cat quests. Again, not sure if that's in the original or if that's golden exclusive, um, but it is something to keep in mind. but I'll, I'll try to look for her. Alright, please find my younger twin. Okay, so we know where to go for that. Uh, there's another quest right here. Uh, sure? What's up? How can I help you? I would not know what a wedding veil is. Try to look for some horns. I suppose, I mean, this doesn't actually mean that we will be too far behind then. If there's multiple quests that we need to do in Kanji's dungeon still. So, honestly, it's not a bad thing, I guess. We are caught up a little bit on some of these. 
I'm, I guess we're a little bit ahead in terms of these other quests, so that's nice. Yen. All right. Uh, so then that means in terms of quests, uh, let's see. All of those are fox quests. I already did that for the day. Uh, we've got feed the cat, the cabbages, which are currently growing. Kanji's Dungeon, Kanji's Dungeon, Overworld. Okay, uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Ooh, actually! I think we'll actually can be able to talk to the boy now. Because now we have his net! Are you sure? Oh. Okay. Okay, so now we have officially begun bug catching. So how exactly does bug catching work? Bug catching can be done in one location, one location only, really, and that is in the shade of this tree right here. For some reason, it will not. Do I need to talk to him about it first? Okay, so basically you have to go to the trees here and you can only catch bugs one time per day, but it doesn't take up any time, and you can get quite a few bugs to be able to use for fishing. As to how to catch bugs, you need to wait until you get an indication that you have the perfect catching spot. Ah, uh, that's better shown than really explained. So, bugs are gathered around the tree, and then we need to hit the A button in order to swing the net. There will be an indication that shows when we have the perfect swing. Swing a little bit too soon, swing a little bit too late, and you get fewer bugs. But get it just right, and you can get quite a few of them for fishing. So you gotta look for the exclamation mark that appears above Yu's head. So right when it appears, you have to be ready to hit the A button. But it's actually pretty easy, so it's not really that big of a deal to just wait until you see that indication. And for our efforts, we get Tatsuhime Ladybug, a Tatsuhime Ladybug, a Tatsuhime Ladybug, and a Yasa Locus. So that is a new bug for us then. The Yasa Locus, which can be used to catch Amber Sima and Inaba Trout. So overall, pretty nice. And again, we can do that every single day, as long as it's not raining, because of course not. <laughs> But as long as it's not raining, we can head on over to the shrine in order to catch bugs. I've been going on for quite a while at this point, but the last thing that I'll do is head on into Daidara's. We'll worry about finding the girl's twin first thing next time. But we can sell up our stuff, and that is 34,500 yen. And none of that is new stuff that I hadn't already gotten. Okay, cool. Uh, the Kintabi Gusoku, I think I could probably sell, just because that hit rate is awful. I'll sell one of them, just in case there's one thing that I could potentially use. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 
I just realized I spent that entire time in the TV world. And I never equipped the stupid skates. Funny enough, that actually would have been really good against those gold hands. Even funnier, she ain't... Uh, maybe only once got confused. Yukiko kept on getting confused so often. Okay, so... Maybe possible for me to just get this for GA. Um, so that is a possibility for us. We have over 100,000 yen now, so we do have quite a lot that, at our disposal. I might be able to get two things, maybe something for Chie and Yukiko, or just completely outfit one or the other. Uh, but I will save buying stuff at Daidara for when it's closer to us to head back into the TV world. And we're gonna call it a day right here. So, next on, let's play Persona 4 Golden. We are going to try to find the twin over at the riverbank, because that's where the twin is. And from there, we just need to continue hanging out with our social links. We do have a new activity that we can do, and we will be spending time with the scooter uh, at some point. It is going to take multiple attempts for us to be able to get to new locations, but it's still important for us to prioritize our social links more than anything, because I do not believe the rain can stop you from doing scooter stuff. So it is possible, even though that would be incredibly dangerous, it should be possible for us to take the scooter out in the rain. So that should be a viable option for us to do if we don't have anything available. And eventually we are going to want to just spend enough time to be able to get the scooter and get all the other bonuses because even though it's not necessarily important for social links it is important to get quests as well as a few extra features that are of course golden exclusive so it'll still be important for us to try to spend time on the scooter but we will primarily focus on our social links whenever possible but all in due time all in due time until next time everyone Take care.